Alrighty, hello guys! Alrighty, hello guys! Welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are actually going to be doing a similar thing that we've done in a previous video. Essentially what we're going to do is we are going to turn one of our tanks into a tank destroyer, which is just lower. We're not going to have a turret and hopefully all will go well. So, let's go ahead and find our tank, turn it into a tank destroyer, put it up against something in a mission, and hopefully all will go well. Let's do this. Okie dokie, here it is right here. So this thing is our 71 ton tank. Uh, and as you guys can see, it is not really designed to be a tank destroyer. But we can definitely add to this, make it look like one, and hopefully it will work quite well. Uh, what I want to do is, I want to indent this a little bit more. I want to have the turret somewhere around here. And hopefully this will work out for us. So, let's go ahead and delete this first things first. And uh, we'll actually put these two up here. Excellent. So far, so good. Okie dokie. So obviously what we want to do is we want to indent this little bit right here if we can. We're going to do it on this little piece here as well. Uh, and that's essentially going to go down. Uh, same as these guys right here. So this is all going to go down. Excellent. That's actually pretty sick. That, to be fair, that is actually really good. Uh, we're going to lower this down a little bit more. There we go. And that is a nice little place for a turret to go. Uh, and yeah, actually it is. So go to livery. Go to decals. We're going to get rid of this one for right now. We'll just whack it on the top. And uh, we need to design somewhere for these things to go. So let me just whack this on there for now. In fact, if the driver can actually drive from up there, that would be pretty cool, to be fair. That would be really, really cool. And then we can put the driver's get in cab thingamabobby behind that. Uh, and that should be excellent, actually. So there we go. We'll go with something like that for now. But it is going to change. So go to base. Yes. Go to faces. Yes. We're going to extend this one upwards. Yeah, we are. We're going to go ahead and grab this piece and this piece, if that is possible. Yes, it is. And we are going to move it inwards. Yes, we are. We're also then going to grab this piece, send this backwards into there, make it come upwards, send it backwards again, and there we go. That is actually pretty sick. Yeah, that is very good indeed. Nice. Okay, excellent. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and bring this piece upwards as well. And we're going to send that backwards too. There we go. Now, the gun should be able to fit on there. So go to firepower. Get ourselves a nice little gun. Uh, I don't know which ones actually have the thingamabobby on it. I don't know whether we have an adjustment on this. But we do have an adjustment definitely on this one. Uh, and presumably... Wait, where is it? There it is. We have quite a good adjustment on this one. So let's go ahead and try and put that right in the middle. There we go. That's pretty sick. Uh, in fact, wait, can I not put this in the same place that I want it? We just had it in the right place. There we go. Like that. That looks good. Uh, let's see if we can um, move it up and down. See what that looks like. And then we'll go from there. In fact, right click it. There we go. Base armor. The azimuth. That would be great if I could put that on. But for some reason I can't. I don't know why. But uh, there you go. So we can aim it up. We can aim it down. That's amazing. That's actually really good. Yes. Okay, so how do we put the azimuth thing on it, and why isn't it working? Okay, so now it does work. We can actually turn it 12.5 degrees that way, and 12.5 degrees that way. Excellent! So, we'll keep the same gun on it as we had before, because previously that was actually pretty good. Uh, we'll go ahead and make this go back to center if we can. That would be great. There we go. And that seems fine by me. I like it. Good. Okie dokie, so the last thing that I really want to do is we need to go to faces and we need to generate some armor on all of these pieces. Apparently though, that's already done, so we are at 200 uh, millimeters of armor on every single one of those bits. That's good. That's actually great. So now, we are actually ready to go to war. Yeah, it's ready. And, and, just as a bonus, we actually weigh a hell of a lot less. I believe the other one weighed uh, a lot more than that. I believe it was like 71 tons. And now we've turned the 71 ton tank into a 49 ton tank destroyer. Interesting. I really need to name these things because if you look in here, obviously I've got a hell of a lot of tanks that just have really bad names. But anyway, let's go ahead and get ourselves into a scenario and see what happens. Okie dokie, so we're going to go straight into this. This is the Tiger mission, which is the... Uh... Wait, hang on, let me load this in. There we go. This is the uh, obviously snowy mission. And obviously... Oh wait, hang on, we're missing some stuff. What are we missing? A commander's cupola and also a radio. Okay, right. Hang on. Commander's cupola. Let's go ahead and put one of these directly on top of here. We'll actually put it up one side. Excellent. That's pretty sick. 
And then we need an antenna for a radio that we'll have two of. Uh, and they'll go back here. There we go. We're ready to go to war. Let's do this. I wonder if there'll be more than one. There is. I've got a friendly tank with me too. We've got two of our tank destroyers. Uh, and we are going to go to war. Yes, we are. Right, so press T. Uh, we'll convoy. That'll be great. So joining formation is my other guy. Hopefully it can get over here pretty quickly. Otherwise we might die. Oh wow, we're already getting shot at. What the heck? Lower it down. Come on. We need to line ourselves up on an enemy tank. Which one is right there? And it is dead. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Centurion 2 has just been murderized. Alright, our second tank has arrived. Let's go. To battle! Oh, we, I'm getting shot in the face quite a bit here. All right, that one's dead. There we go. Super Cromwell is dead. Let's get my friend up next to me, actually. Um, line. There we go. Oh, they've tracked me. That is a tank destroyer's worst. Oh, that is a nightmare. That is a night Let's take over the second tank and see if we can take them out with this one alone. All right, there's the enemy right there. We see one right in front of us. Shoot it and kill it. There we go. Super Cromwell 2 is dead. Excellent. Now we just got to wait for some more enemies to appear uh, to try and shoot at us, and then we'll try and take them out. I did see something go on over here. In fact, I see the enemy. Hang on. Oh, wow. There's a tree right in my way. <laughs> there is a tree right in front of me. All right, you're dead. There we go. Centurion 1 is dead. Excellent. Oh, there's an enemy tank shooting at my other guy right there. I don't think my other tank will die. Let's uh, switch to it and see what we can do here. Please? Can I turn? I'm really struggling to turn my own tank. It's not really working out for me. Oh no, they shot my other one in the back. Oh, that's not good. That's really bad, actually. Oh, now they're shooting me in the side where I'm weakest. Alright, okay. Idea. Let's uh, increase the width of stuff. So mobility tracks... Uh, let's give them a thickness of, like, 20. Oh, wow, that's really thick. Let's go with something less than that, like, 10? 10 mil thickness. That seems pretty thick. Let's go. So this time, we are going to go in with our friend. I'm not going to control them at all. And this time, we're going to win, hopefully. Yeah, so let's get quite far forwards, uh, and then we'll start shooting at them. All right, there's an enemy right there in front of us. We can just about see it. It looks like a panther. I can't take out a panther from all the way back here, I don't think. It's going to be tricky, unless it shows its side to me like it just did. Uh, I think it's going to be tricky. Oh, yeah, it is. All right, let's take out this guy instead. There we go. That guy's dead. Uh, the other tanks should be coming around my left side, which indeed they are. But as long as we keep track of that, we should be good. All right, panther, you're going down. I think I tracked it, which is excellent. Okay, let's leave that to it. Let's go ahead and uh, drive this way. Hopefully not get shot in the back. And uh, we'll deal with all the guys that are circling me. Because that's what we need to do. All right, tree down. Let's go. Let's get into battle here. Battle! Yeah! All right, there's an enemy. I think it's another panther. It is. There's another panther down there. That's not good. That's real bad, actually. We need to be able to shoot them in the... S Ooh. They're still shooting me in the side. That's not good. All right, hang on. You can't sneak up on me. That's not allowed. Okay? Not allowed. All right, skip to the other side. Why are you still in spawn? What? Why is this tank so far back? Let's get up there. See if we can see any more enemies. And shoot them. Where are they? In fact. Oh, there they are. Okay, right. No, we're good. We're good. I think they might try and circle me at some point. My other tank is taking them out, which is excellent. It's us versus a panther tank. We can see its side. It's going to be very angled, though, from this point. So let's continue. Hopefully my other tank can deal with those guys. And we can deal with this one. Uh-oh, it's dead. My tank just died. Uh-oh, they've taken my tracks off. Oh, no. Oh, and I died because I got shot in the back. Yeah. How much armor do we actually have here? I figured we had a lot. Oh, no, we don't. 
We don't have very much armor here at all, actually. Maximum. In fact, hang on. Select all. That weighs too much. All right, we can't do that. Fine. We cannot do that. We're only 100 mil on the sides. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, I forgot. All right, whatever. Let's get into battle again. We'll do it this time. We'll definitely win this time, okay? As it turns out, having a turret on top of this tank actually was a good idea. Because it allows us to keep... Every so the turret was fully armored. It was 200 mil all the way around. Uh, and it allowed us to keep the fully armored bits pointed towards the enemy at all times. Whenever we lose tracks in this, we're dead. Oh, look at that. Straight away. Straight away we lost the tracks. Unreal. Alright, skip to the other tank. This one's dead. Oh, wait. I can't. Was there no other tank? Oh, no. What have I done? Because I've increased the uh, the thingamabobby. We've lost... Oh, that's not good. Purely because I increased the, uh, the armor on the back, we actually lost... Um, a tank because we gained weight. That's Sag. That's big Sag, actually. Let's lower this to zero. The top of this can actually be zero. There we go. We should have an extra tank now. Yes, we do. All right, let's go. I do feel like extra armor would be better than a second tank, but if we lose our tracks again, there's going to be problems. All right, let's get all the way out here. I see an enemy over there. Okay, it is turning, as if it wants to shoot me. Oh, I missed. I missed big time there, that's not good. All right, let's get out there. There's an enemy right there as well. Hopefully, oh no, I've been tracked again. Constantly being tracked. Oh, they've shot my driver as well. Thaj, this is not good. This is not good, I'm gonna keep trying to kill that one. Your side on. We still didn't kill it. It's literally side on to us and we didn't kill it. That's not good. It's still being able to, like, it's, it can still move. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. There we go, right, we got it. JU76, dead. Excellent. All right, I can't seem to drive this one because my driver is dead. Let's skip to the other one. See what's happening here. What is happening here? I'm getting shot in the back. I know that. And then there's one right there. How are you so far away? All right, it's dead. Turn around as quick as we can. Whoa, that grazed us. That did just graze us. I don't know where the enemy is here, though. Oh, I see you. I see you. You're dead. All right, Panther 1. We actually took it out in one shot that time. Good. I believe I see an enemy tank in front of us still. Yeah, because it's tracked, but it's not dead, remember? So let's get ourselves up to the firing line. Oh no, it is dead. It does seemingly... It is seemingly on fire. Oh, and now I'm dead. Alright. Turns out, turning my tank into a uh, tank destroyer, not an absolutely amazing idea. And I've just broke my game. I broke it. Okie dokie, so now it is literally just my tank, uh, not the tank destroyer. I decided to uh, bring the tank out and see what kind of damage it can do all by itself. Obviously there is no friendlies in this. If we get tracked, it doesn't overly matter, but let's see what we can do here. So, there's a tank somewhere in that mess. Panther 1, dead. Okay, there's a little tank right there. Let's try and shoot that in a second. Okay, it is shooting at me, but it missed, I guess. We didn't kill it. We didn't kill it. All right, that's fine. So, let's try and use the uh, the area to my advantage. We'll try and get ourselves into a bit of a dip where we can just peek our turret over. And if that happens, oh my gosh. Okay, don't get shot in the side in this tank. Bad idea. Bad idea. We need to keep an eye on where the tanks are. Keep our front facing towards them. It's just very difficult when you are one tank and they're all shooting at you. So, turns out this tank, actually pretty bad. Because then, it, like, if it gets shot in the side, it's dead. Just what happens. All right, here we go. Enemy tanks right in front of us. One dead. All right, Cromwell down. Good. Doesn't matter if I turn my turret to shoot sideways, because my turret is fully armored. There's the next tank I want to shoot at. All right, next. Uh, we'll, oh, 
we go with this guy over here. Someone's over there. Let's have a little look. Okay, yep. Keep our front towards the panther. Hopefully all will go well here. All right, we got it. Dead. Turn our gun around and our full body, because I don't think there's anyone left on our left side. Sorry, our right side. And let's see what happens here. I wish we had a handbrake. That'd be great. All right, Cromwell down. Last thing, I believe it's a panther, unless there is more enemies that I don't know about. I'm not sure. We need to shoot it flat in the face. There we go. Panther dead. All right, so it turns out Tank Destroyer version of this, not the not amazing, unless you have a few of them. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go and end this video here for now. Thank you guys for watching. There is a glowing bullet, in, well, round uh, on my tank, uh, and I'm going to leave this here. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.